So I'm going to talk about a topic and pretend that I know enough to actually throw out advice and judgment. That topic is shaders, specifically in the 3D space, which is just something I've been trying to learn more about. And uh, in doing so, I was working through the documentation for vertex displacement with shaders, which basically means we want to take a plane, we want to subdivide it into a bunch of vertices, and then we want to move those vertices up and down or, or however, based on whatever noise we're generating. And then we have some kind of natural terrain. This documentation is fantastic and it teaches you a lot about shaders and the way that all that works. I just ran into a little bit of issue when I was trying to fix the lighting on the terrain. And it's very possible that a more updated version of this documentation exists somewhere. Or maybe I'm just doing something improperly. Um, but I was able to solve the problem and I just wanted to share that solution. I do have it all set up here on this plane in the shader material. This is pretty much copy paste from the documentation. But the problem that I run into is that the lighting just doesn't look right on the mesh. So I have this omnidirectional light that is just kind of situated up here. You can kind of visually look at this and tell that the, the lighting isn't right. And I have this, these three lines right here are kind of the, the crux of what the documentation shows you for recalculating the normals on the mesh, which really just means we want to make sure that after we update a vertex that we are updating the information for the mesh that will allow it to calculate light properly. But I think that these three lines are making assumptions that we're no longer deforming in quite the same way that we were earlier in the documentation. And some of the lines that I'll point out are, oh, I guess I should have zoomed in. Uh, some of the lines I'm talking about is when, we, when we're passing a vertex position to the FBM function, which is essentially giving us our noise or, or the height that we're going to use to to displace the vertex. We're also passing in this multiplier of four, but we're not doing that in the normalized function. And my, my feeling was that that was incorrect. You can kind of see this commented code I have down below where I kind of fixed that. The other thing is the height scale. So in the documentation, it talks about adding in a height scale so that you can very easily adjust kind of the, you know, the scale of the displacement of the, of the vertices. And that makes sense, but it didn't make sense to me that somehow we were recalculating normals, but it wasn't at all using the height scale, which would obviously change. I added in the 4.0 that they were using to multiply the position. And then I also just added in the height scale kind of along along this line. And that that was kind of me just kind of guessing around, really. I, I definitely don't have an extreme understanding of how all this works. But when I do that, uh, very quickly you can see that the lighting makes a lot more sense. Um, it's like this omnidirectional light is actually positionally affecting the terrain like it's supposed to. And this is actually what it looks like in the documentation. So down here they have this image where the lighting looks proper. I mean, it looks kind of what like what I'm generating here, but I wasn't getting that with the code straight from the tutorial. So my whole point being that if you're running into a similar problem, uh, maybe this will be maybe this will be helpful for you. This is the same thing, but with a directional light instead of an omni light. So if I zoom out a little bit, you see that big arrow right here, very lightly, but it's kind of pointing. Now I'm pointing the camera kind of in the same way as the directional light. You can see all the sides of the mesh uh, are actually lit up kind of like they're supposed to be. And then if I flip around, they're dark on this side. So that's really it. Again, I, I don't I don't really understand what I'm doing, but uh, but that was helpful. I'll, I'll throw this script with the commented code into a, a GitHub gist and put it in the description. Thank you for watching the video. Sorry, it's always random tutorials every couple months on, you know, disparate subjects that have nothing to do with each other. But I'm kind of bouncing around a few different projects, learning a lot about uh, 3D and, and shaders and all these cool things. And I always like to share things that pop up. So again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.